Wildfires raging in the west, burning more than a million and a half acres and counting. 20,000 firefighters and emergency crews battling the blazes. Fire season normally following the heat of summer, but now stretching nearly year round. Fires starting months earlier, changing what we thought we knew. Only you can prevent forest fires. Well, yes and no. Smokey's right, we start about 90% of all wildfires, either accidentally, like when an electric line falls and ignites a tree, or carelessly, when someone throws out a cigarette butt or leaves a campfire burning. And some do it on purpose, arson. Lightning and, believe it or not, lava are responsible for the rest. Fires need fuel, extremely dry trees, leaves, and ground debris. Exactly what you find in a forest during a severe and extreme drought. Climate change is making it worse. The temperatures above normal, and not just for a day, but for weeks and weeks. High pressure ridges just sitting there, not moving, trapping hot air. Heat waves drying everything out, evaporating the moisture from the ground and plant life. Then the spark, and the start of what scientists call a feedback loop. Here's the part Smokey leaves out. The fires sending hot air, pollutants, and some water vapor up into the atmosphere, forming pyrocumulus clouds, basically storm clouds. But they don't have a lot of rain. They do have lightning, igniting new fires when it hits the ground, creating more storms, creating more lightning, creating more fires, and around and around it goes. Only who can prevent forest fires? You pressed you, referring to me. That is incorrect. The correct answer is you. Not really you, but government agencies using forest management, thinning out or removing trees, reducing the spread of major fires, or even carefully setting fires to eliminate the dead debris on the ground. There's 741 million acres of forest in the US, impossible for people to manage every acre. But Mother Nature's been doing it since the first forest formed, using wildfires. The difference, today's fires, driven by climate change and humans in more ways than one. I'm Newsy meteorologist Scott Withers.